just checking out a local trailer place. It's a uh, it's a little far. It's like a half an hour away from where I live, but I mean, it's not like I have to go to another city or something like that, but it's a pretty nice sized trailer supplier, so they got a lot of good stuff. The main thing is they have enclosed trailers, which not everyone has around here, so I like that. And uh, they have some um, custom truck beds as well, so I'm going to inquire a little bit about that too, because... I think that's an interesting concept too, just um, having a custom bed on the back of your truck and putting some of your lawn equipment on there, potentially, instead of pulling a trailer along. I know that's another thing that uh, some people have been doing around the country, so it's piqued my interest a little bit. So just something else to, to inquire about. That's what I'm talking about. This is sweet, but it's small. I didn't realize how small these things were on the inside. This is a 6x12, so I would definitely need something bigger than this. There's no ceiling vent either. There's a vent on the side here. I don't think that's going to cut it. Still no ceiling vent, but a lot bigger though, that's for sure. Got a vent down there, light switch, vent up there, another light switch. I don't even know what size this is, but it's definitely a lot bigger. Let's go check it out. Might be a little bit too big actually, but there's plenty of room, that's for sure. I can put a lot of stuff in here. I don't know if I can put shelves and stuff up here. Just kind of shelve this whole front section out. So that would be good. And then this would be for the mowers and other stuff. So I guess this room could fill up quick. Seven by 16, so. It's big, it's wider and longer, so something to think about. Dual axle too, I like that. So that puts some things into perspective. Um, I like the white enclosed trailers, I like that because it just kind of goes with my whole theme. You know, I have a white truck, I want to keep it that way. Um, Whatever graphics that I put on the trailer on my truck are going to be simple, but get the point across, you know, like my logo, my logo's green, you know, nothing, nothing too surprising there, but I just like, I like the clean professional look of the green logo and some 
simplistic graphics on my on a white truck and trailer so I think that'll be nice I like the 7 by 16 I think that would be perfect for me it'll be a little bit big but I'll be able to fill it up with more things you know make it more functional put shelving in the front things like that um, you know I think it would fill up quicker than I probably think um, I can keep both of my mowers on there instead of having you know one of the mowers in a shop or storage or my garage or whatever I can have you know all of my mowers in there so that I'm ready no matter what especially if I'm you know there's an emergency and I need need a backup I don't have to go get the backup it's right there yeah I'll be pulling extra weight but I think all in all it's better to have all your equipment together safe if you need to do any maintenance or want to go to the to the car wash or something or you need the backup you know you have employees once you have employees we have bigger properties or a lot of residential properties all together in a row we can use more than one mower at one time so there's just a lot of different scenarios I won't have to worry about okay what's on the schedule today all right let me get this mower this mower I can just kind of have it all there at hand um, and the dual axle makes takes a lot of the weight and workload off of your truck and back onto the trailer so those dual axles are absorbing the weight balancing the trailer out um, I didn't check these to see which ones had brakes or whatever but I know some of them come with brakes which is going to obviously help because you trying to stop with all that weight pulling behind you can be an issue more wear and tear on your truck so I would definitely be interested to look into that if that's not a standard a thing anyway thing. I don't know a whole lot about trailers I mean I'm still learning things as I go I mean that's that's why I'm still a rookie you know but uh, that's that's what I'm leaning towards and um, you know I don't know about that price forty two forty three hundred dollars that's that's a lot but I mean the whatever the the, the single axle ones that were I think uh, six by twelve those were like a little over two thousand right like twenty two hundred or something I think it said so that I was expecting that price so that 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 makes sense I'm you know I'm guessing the forty forty three hundred dollars for a seven by sixteen dual axle enclosed trailer is probably you know on the money for pricing if if they're if uh, if the pricing for the six by twelve single axle is what I thought it would be then I'm sure their pricing is probably good but you know let me know what you guys have experienced or think but um, you know that's definitely a good chunk of money right there and I don't have that so I'm probably going to have to get storage at least for this year until I get all the rest of my debt paid off you know I still have to finish paying off my grandstand hopefully before the end of this coming season you know I got a snow thrower that I got to pay off I was hoping to have it paid off by this winter I, I took a risk that we were going to get more than one snowstorm this year and so far we only got one so you know I thought we were going to get two we still might you know it's not even February yet so we still have the whole month of February and in the past we've gotten a pretty good snowstorm in February even as late as the beginning of March we've gotten snowstorms here in central Virginia so there's hope if we get one more storm I should be able to have my snow thrower paid off and then I won't have to worry about it but if I don't I don't it'll, it'll you know I'm basically just paying myself back um, where my grandstand I'm paying someone else so um, but you know so my point is I want to have my debts paid off so I can be debt free before I make another large purchase you know storage I'm wasting money you know every month to the storage unit but I'm not going into debt and I don't I don't have any other you know I don't have forty three hundred dollars anywhere that I can part with you know so but I can work on saving that money up this season take on a little more work you know I mean getting the storage unit that's you know that's that's one more lawn account and that basically pays for that storage unit so I'm not really too concerned about that Anyway, we'll see how that all plays out, but that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. Um, going to go to the storage unit for this season. 
I can't afford the trailer yet, so I can afford paying, you know, however much extra month for the storage and save up, you know, as I get some extra work, some extra lawn accounts, save up for the enclosed trailer and get that next spring. And then I can be out of the, be out of the storage or just get a real tiny storage for, you know, my other trailer you know, my open trailer and some other miscellaneous stuff, or we'll see. Maybe I sell the open trailer, you know, it's a whole other conversation.